You know, I don't know why Exodus Crash is like everyone's least favorite strike. It's even mine. I hate it too. Uh, whenever I'm just doing the normal Vanguard playlist and this one comes up, I'm just like the rest of everybody else and I quit, unfortunately. Um, so sorry to that one guy that never quits and just does this one straight through, but either way, maybe because everyone hates it anyways, um, I haven't seen like a, a decent guide to this, like not with anything useful in it. Um, obviously, today I'm not going to talk about what these beams of light are or anything like that. I hope you would know. If you don't know, stop quitting and actually do the strike when you're in Vanguard playlist. Um, but today, this one, it should be applicable for Master and Grandmaster, so it'll help you later on. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that's why I hate this one, is this beginning part with these goddamn snipers and, uh, pikes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Anyways, first thing that might be helpful, if you don't know, this one part where you gotta protect the plate. Man, it goes on a long time, and there's a billion friggin' overloads. Like, every 5%, I think, one spawns. Like, there's a ton. But, if you get in trouble, like here, you can always retreat. So, best thing with any of these old original strikes uh, from Vanilla Destiny 2, you can always run away. But stay alert. Sometimes the overloads still creep forward on you like this. Sometimes even more. I've seen them come like way, way forward in the Grandmaster. I think they're a little bit more aggressive. But just keep in mind, these original strikes, like I mentioned, just Bungie likes to just chuck a billion champions in there to kind of make up for how easy they are. So once you get to 50% though, two barriers are going to spawn in. When the barriers spawn in, the timer, percent, everything just pauses. So you can take your time, clear the ads. It's just two barriers in the distance. They're not even dangerous barriers. They're like the Servitor kind, probably like the not weakest, but you know, least threat out of all barriers that exist. As soon as you kill one though, another overload's gonna come spawning in. So if you can, try to kill them both like around the same time. It'll just make it easier for the next like five minutes here as you're on the plate. So this one, you can see, I'm just going nuts. <laughs> just nuts chucking grenades. Oh, I love this modifier, the lightning crystals thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, that noise. Anyways, pretty simple. Just kill everything. Clear the ads. If you're into trouble, run away. That's it. You know, if you're like me and you just you can't keep one eye on the percentage um, and on the ads there, just, you know, when the two shanks spawn in, so that'll be the third total because one spawns by itself and then the two after. Once those two spawn in, you're like pretty much near the end there. So, next part, I'm not going to explain this, it's just the basic mechanics of the strike, no matter what difficulty you're doing, but the walker part. So a couple things you can do with the walker. Uh, for master or grandmaster, uh, usually, I just run right to the entrance here, turn around, kill the walker. Once you kill the walker, everything else just disappears. There's no champions at this part, so you're not going to lose platinum or anything like that. So, I like this spot, out of all the spots, but if it's a little dicey for you, especially when you're doing grandmaster and you're being solo, I do have a second spot here. Well, it's not my spot, it's everybody's spot. I see lots of people do it this way. You can just uh, run up, run up here. It's relatively safe, um, slightly safer than that last spot I showed you anyways. And you can just dump grenades or whatever you need on the walker from up here. Now, just watch out. He can still shoot at you a little bit up here. So, you know, don't be sleeping. Yeah, and that's it. See, everything disappears. You're good to go. Uh, next part, you know, you got to run through the the dark room. You know, watch out for snipers, blah, blah, blah. There is an overload in there, you know, but keep going. But now you're in the boss room. So, the boss room. If you're not going to cheese it, you know, it's a bit of a hassle. You got to be running around the whole time watching out for the boss. But this place is just filthy with hiding spots. So, this is the main one that everyone uses. I'll just show it to you quick. It's also the safest, I guess, by the way, simplest. So, you know, you jump down there, kill a few shanks, jump back up to the spawn entrance, and then you jump up, and then jump up, and then jump over. And from this spot, you know, you can just kill the last of the exploders, and it starts the, the boss phase. So, super easy, he'll be shooting at you, but it can barely hit you, just with his scatter gun there, you're, he's too far away. You dump grenades on him, shoot him with primary, shoot him with heavy, whatever you want to do. So now for this encounter with the boss here, it's separated into three parts, I guess. So each third of his health is a different section. So after you get his first third, he disappears and you're left with the exploding shanks here. Now, you'll notice that each one of these platforms is electrified through the first phase and stays electrified until you start the second phase, uh, which is going to be important later on. Now, when you kill all the adds, 
after the first phase, the exploders will auto explode. And then that's how you know when you start the second phase. When you start the second phase, one barrier spawns at the beginning, which you'll see in just one second here. So boom, all the exploders explode. The second phase has begun. And you'll notice those two platforms that I showed were electrical are not anymore. Now it's the back one closest to me. So the one barrier spawns. If you kill this one barrier right away, um, when you do damage to the boss, two more barriers are going to spawn. So that's three total. If you don't kill that barrier, only one more will spawn, giving you only two barriers total. So if the barriers are a big problem for you, just keep that in mind. If you don't touch the first one right now, when he disappears, only one more will spawn instead of two more. And see, there you go. There's the two more that spawn there. So again, like I said, if I didn't kill that first one, only one more is going to spawn. No matter what, you'd still get platinum. So if only the two spawn, you still get platinum because the third one never spawns, so it never counts. So you can stay up there and just kill the boss right out if you'd like. If not, uh, there's a few other spots here. So I'll just show you some of my favorite because honestly, there's tons of hiding spots in this one. So this is the one I use for master. Um, it's not 100% protected anyways, but it's good enough that just with grenades and a little bit of heavy, I can clear the boss down his first third of health. Alternatively, for the first phase, um, there's another spot I go to sometimes. Honestly, I'm going to try this one for Grandmaster this season uh, instead of like the ultimate cheese spot that I showed you at the beginning there. So this, you want to go to the, the left-hand electrical platform, and there's just a little thing to jump on in behind there. So just right under me right now. So I'm going to kill the last shank, start the boss, and then I'm just going to drop in right here. Now, again, you're not 100% protected here, but but pretty protected. So I'm just gonna taunt the taunt the boss to come over there just by shooting some primary and the boss is gonna come running over there. You know, and then I'm gonna use some grenades. This is a good spot you could use heavy. Say you're using a linear. He's lined up really nice for some headshots with the linear here. And in this case, all I got is my light machine gun, so I'm just gonna use that. But pretty easily, I can take out his first third of the health for the first phase. Now, when he's done here, I throw a couple more grenades just to help clear out some of the ads because they are still going to be there. And there, so first phase done. He disappears for good. The only thing that's left is the ads and exploders. Like I said before, the exploders stay until all the ads are dead. When the, all the ads are dead, exploders auto detonate. So I'm going to jump back up there now, being careful because I know there's going to be some ads still alive. You don't want to want to get caught with your pants down and I'm gonna clear them out. And then I'll show you where I almost always go for the second phase, if I'm not like way up in that super cheese spot. So, exploders are still alive. I'm gonna kill this last uh, drag there and they auto detonated. And then I'm gonna run to the right hand platform that was electrical during the first phase. It's not electrical now because we're into the second phase. Hmm. But as you see here, you know, for the second phase, anyways, you're 100% safe in this spot. Once you drop down here, you know, as long as you're not sticking your head out in the open, you'll be fine. So I just chuck grenades, clear out some ads, do damage to the boss. Once his second third of health is gone, that's the intermission, I guess, of the second phase. So you'll have a chance to kill the barriers, all that stuff, because the boss will despawn. He won't come back until you kill all the ads and barriers. So, perfect time. You know, you can take your time. Kill the barrier safely, there's no boss. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when you kill the last barrier, this platform's gonna get electrical. So, I just go up on this box. This box is high enough that the boss cannot hurt you. Because he's not shooting his gun no more, he's got his swords, you know? So, the only thing you have to watch out for are the dregs with their uh, scatter guns. Scatter guns, Lord of Wolves, I don't know, what do we call them? The, the dregs, the marauders with their Lord of Wolves guns. So, clear out the ads, you know, you got your grenades, you got your special, your heavy, whatever you got. After all the ads are clear, then that's it. The only thing you have to worry about is the boss at that point. And he's using swords, so you can you know, easily avoid him if you want to. You can run around the map if you want to. You can stay up on this box and do damage to him. Sometimes he will stay hiding. Anyway, so keep that in mind. You know, you gotta actually go out there and provoke him so he comes out from hiding to attack you, just like this. But, you know, with the swords, 
not really any sort of bother at all. So super easy. You know, like I said, this isn't anyone's favorite strike. I'm not sure why. I don't even like it. It's definitely not hard though. It's probably definitely one of the easier ones. So that's it. So everything on this guide is applicable for Grandmasters too. You know what? I would even say those G spots I showed you are even Hunter approved. I know Hunters, you guys, you have problems jumping anywhere, but uh, especially that first G spot I showed, a little inaccessible for you guys, but hopefully that second one I showed or third one I showed works for you. Other than that, don't forget to like and oh, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. That sounds good too. Okay, see ya.